the office of the governor now, big news regarding Mississippi's DMVs. The doors will be open soon again for business. Our senior political correspondent, Gerald Harris, explains how coronavirus and improving operations will be the focus. Due to the coronavirus, DMVs in the state had to close, but they're getting the green light to open on Monday, but with strict social distancing guidelines. They have been put in place at the driver's license to make sure everyone can be as healthy as possible. Mississippians will be allowed to visit the stations on the day of the week that corresponds with the first letter of their last name. Monday, A through E. Tuesday, F through L. Wednesday is walk-in Wednesday where anyone can come in. Thursday, M through S. Friday, T through Z. Is it a permanent fix to all the problems at uh, the Department of or the Bureau of Driver's License Services. Um, and and in particularly when it comes to the number of stations we have across the state, I believe there's 31. Uh, a number of those only have two individuals working in there. And going forward, that's a problem we seek to address um, and, and doing so probably by some form of consolidation uh, and having larger offices that can better uh, deal with more customers. To help lower person-to-person -person contact, people can use the Department of Public Safety's website to renew and duplicate driver's licenses, ID cards, and change their address. All road tests for non-commercial drivers are waived until further notice to help reduce the risk of transmission. Minors must submit an affidavit completed by a parent or guardian certifying 50 hours of supervised driving time, which are available on the DPS website to receive a driver's license. To see a full list of services offered at the area permanent DMVs, you can visit our website at WJTV.com. In Jackson, Gerald Harris, 12 News.